guys! Today's video is my July favorites and I have been putting this video off because I have been traveling. I went to Boston for my sororities convention which was a ton a ton of fun. Um, I think I'm going to do a collective haul with like my birthday stuff and also the stuff that I picked up while I was in Boston which is just like capital to clothes so it's really not that cool. I mean it's actually really cool for me. <laughs> and I had like an allergic reaction. I also got my wisdom teeth out in the month of June so it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. But because of those two semi-unfortunate events, I only have a few beauty products that I wanted to talk about. I don't think any really new makeup products. Um, I just wanted to be honest with you guys. I didn't really try anything that like blew me away this month. Um, I did pick up some new things though at the end of the month, but obviously I haven't really had time to try this stuff out, so... Obviously still loving the products that I mentioned in last month's video, but I felt like it'd be silly just to repeat the same thing, so I have new products that I want to talk about, and we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first thing is a shampoo, and this is one that I've been wanting to talk about on my channel for the longest time, and this is the Anti-Breakage Keratin Oil Shampoo. And this one is obviously made for those who have a lot of breakage in their hair and I have a lot of breakage mainly because I use a lot of heat on my hair um, I use a straightener and flat iron but I try or straightener and flat iron straightener and a curler um, like every other day so kind of does a little bit of damage on my hair I just really like my hair to look you know well kempt and stuff even though it looks pretty crazy right now you can thank the rain for that one but <laughs> This is a really good shampoo. I think it's very comparable to like a higher end shampoo and it's only $7. You can pick it up at like Target, Ulta, places like that. Um, and it's actually, I feel like it does a great job lathering and I feel like the organics products that I've tried in the past have been really bad when it comes to or or lathering. But I really like this one obviously because it's my second bottle. So I don't usually try the conditioners and shampoos together. I just usually buy a shampoo. The next thing I have is the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shaving Cream. And this is a 24 hours of deep moisture and vanilla bliss. And I actually bought this originally at Target a few days before I had my allergic reaction. And I thought it was this, but it wasn't because I use it now and it's perfectly fine. Um, I actually, I don't, we have no idea what I had an allergic reaction to. It was just awful. I always feel like my legs are super dry and I obviously don't want them to be super dry because it's the summertime. I'm wearing shorts, I'm wearing skirts, I'm wearing dresses, and my legs are obviously exposed unless it's like a maxi dress, which let's be honest, that doesn't happen very often. Probably like once in my entire life I've worn a maxi dress. So this one does a great job at moisturizing, even though I apply lotion afterwards. I feel like this has helped my legs significantly. And I really like the EOS shaving cream. I've never really tried other shaving cream before. I usually am just like a soap and shaving razor thingy kind of person, but this is really, really good. So it's a delightful shave. Starts with a deep, long-lasting moisture. And I really like the smell too. So this is like $4, I think, I got from Target. Both are from Target. Now moving on to my non-beauty related items because that's what I have more of this month and I thought that'd be okay with you all so hope it's okay with you guys. So the first thing I have are these sunglasses and I've worn these in like follow me around vlogs and stuff like that and a bunch of you guys have been asking me questions about them. I've also worn them in Instagram pictures before and stuff like that. So these are them, aren't they pretty? And I actually bought these off of UrbanOutfitters.com because I originally bought this exact pair from Target, or not Target, <laughs> everything I get from Target. No. I bought these from TJ Maxx and they were $15 and I stepped on them the same day and I went back like the following day and they were sold out. This was back in January and I've been like loving, whenever I see like a picture of me wearing them for that one day that I had them, I'm like, oh my gosh. I need those back in my life. So I researched it and they were on Urban Outfitters website for $60. <gasps> these were my favorite so I had justified it and I got a Snapchat. And these are the BJ8644P in black. And they just remind me of like, I don't know, they, they, they're really like, I, don't know, I just don't know. I think they're very sophisticated looking. They remind me of Lauren Conrad so like let's be honest, that's why I bought them. Um, I don't know, they're big. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. But I really like them. They're diva. Diva. They're me in sunglasses, guys. And then the next thing I have is my spirit jersey. Um, I don't think this is any surprise to you guys. I've mentioned my spirit jerseys in like well, like just a collection of spirit jerseys I have in videos before. But this one is my all-time favorite one because it says my name on the back, which is very conceited, I know. But this is just like so perfect. 
and it's just like a periwinkle color with a coral writing and I just think it's fabulous and I wear it to bed I wear it everywhere I wear it on top I wear it to balls and I wear it to stuff like that no I I just love this shirt it's literally the most perfect shirt ever known to me in kind the next thing I have is a dress, and I actually purchased it from Toby.com, and I actually don't have it with me right now because it's in my car, but it's raining outside, and if I went outside, then my hair would get messed up, so that's a game changer, but um, I bought this. It's called the Ever So Scalloply Dress, and I don't know if they sell it anymore because, as you know, Toby.com sells out super quick, and it's one of my favorite websites to shop out, shop online if you guys have seen my... I think I mentioned it in like my favorite boutiques video I'm not really sure it's perfect and it's just like a scallop dress I tried on the one from J crew like the shift dress that they have that has been all over like Pinterest and stuff that does not flatter me at all but this one's really cute it's navy blue it's kind of short but I love it and I got it for about $30 because um, I have like a coupon or a code or if you sign up and have like five people sign up you get 50% off so I have my code in the down bar um, if you would like to sign up because I think you get 50% off too I think that's how it works so do it because you won't regret it because toby.com is awesome the next dress because I have two dresses in this video because I love dresses is from the red dress boutique and it's this one um, this one might look familiar if you guys saw my birthday vlog but this is from the brand Judith March but it's from red dress boutique and I actually felt like literally fell in love with this dress when I saw it on their Instagram and it said like available Friday so I was, um, set my alarm because I think they release things at like 10 maybe and I woke up and I kept on refreshing until I saw it and then I bought it because I just was in love I was like I don't care how much it is I just love the Rick Rack detailing and I love it's kind of short too but I just think it's like the prettiest dress ever and I know a lot of people probably won't like it but it's my style and I love the bell sleeves on it so red dress boutique has a win again because I love red dress boutique obviously and then the last thing I have are these bracelets and I oh my god these are so cute a sister like a Kappa Delta sister um has a brand of bracelets and it's called bourbon and bow ties and you know, girls gotta support her sisters, right? And, but these are bracelets are really, really cool. I, whenever I wear them, I get compliments on them. I wasn't sure how much I'd like them because they are bangles. Bangles, bangles, bangles. Oh, I can't talk. But I really, really, really like them. And I love how practical they are. My three favorite ones are this one, which has kind of like coins on it. This one, which is like sparkly. And then this one, which is like sparkly. I almost forgot my favorite song, so don't worry, I have them right here for y'all. But, um, where did my phone go? Let's look here. My bra's falling down. Oh, and if you guys aren't already following me on Vine, you should probably do that. Sarah Bell. I don't like using Instagram video. I've never done it, nor do I ever want to. But, anyways, um, what was I gonna say? As you guys know, I'm obsessed with the fraternity collection, frat collection, which is the ones with the little um, frockets on it, and they actually made a coupon code for you guys to get 10% off, which is Cerebell93X, so. Okay, so this one, if you guys follow me on Twitter, will not come as a shock at all to you guys, and it is called Something About Truck. Oh, Kip Moore, you have my heart. Love this song. It just does not get old, and I'm going to play it. Definitely check it out. I will link like the music video or something like that in the down bar. So that is my favorites video for the month of June. I feel like since my channel kind of has like made kind of a more transition into like fashiony things that it's kind of okay that I don't have a lot of makeup products and stuff in it because this is my channel. So let me know if you really like kind of having all the fashion favorites and stuff. And um, if you'd like to see like, I don't know, like see, let me know if you have any like fashion requests because I really, really like fashion and it's something that I love to make videos about. Not that I don't love making videos about makeup, but I feel like a lot of people have that under control. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later and until next time, um, that's it. Bye.